Hello everyone, welcome to a JitVal5 tutorial. So in this tutorial, I will be showing you how to impute your own values into a countdown timer in JitVal5. So this tutorial was made of someone's request in my previous tutorial. So um, as usual, you can also make your tutorial request by placing them in the comments below. So first of all, I will show you a scene I've worked on, run that. I will show you what we'll be doing, activate my on-screen keyboard. Cause I want you to actually see this. So if I press six on my keyboard, as you can see, it starts going down. And if I add seven, it starts from um 26, 25, 24. If I add two, um, it starts from 230, 29, and you can keep on adding um the numbers so it's like a countdown. And close that. So I will be showing how to do that. Minimize and let's open GDevelop five. Create a new project. Um, platformer. So we need to add two objects in this tutorial. Click to add an object. That's the text. Um, we can name that text one. Text. Let's just leave that blank. Size um, fifty. Bold. Apply. Let's put that into the scene here. So layer GUI. Now let's add another object. Click to add an object. Scroll to the bottom, um, text entry, let's name that numbers underscore input. Numbers input apply and put that into the scene. So let's go to our events. New scene events. Um, let's add a new group first. So group. Um, let's name that countdown. Name that input values take that to the top and add a sub condition add a condition beginning of the scene um at the beginning of the scene okay add a condition text that's um text in memory here it is text in memory um numbers inputs is our object modification sign set to Text, um, just put two double um, quotation because we won't be filling anything here. But if you like want to start your countdown from a number, you can fill it in here if you want to start from 60. So at the beginning of the scene, it sets 60 and it starts counting from 60. But this is not what I want, so I'll just leave that with double quotation. So okay, now let's add an MC event, add a condition, um, scene timer. Value of scene timer, time, oh sorry, time in seconds first, one second, so it changes every one second. Timer name, um, countdown, timer, close out. So countdown timer, let's add an action, text in memory, um, here is this text in memory, Numbers input, modification sign, subtract text, quotation one, close that. So subtract one, and we also need to reset the timer. So reset um the scene timer, timer's name, count down timer, sorry, count down timer. And okay, so it resets um the scene timer. When well, after I subtract one, so this keeps it going um in a loop. So add a condition text um okay text in memory um object me numbers input sign of test is greater than text to test um zero. So if it is greater than zero, that's also a condition. Which um makes the action possible. So when it is the um text is greater than zero, it subtracts one because we don't want it to go into a minus. So now let's add an empty event. Add a condition text. Scroll down text in memory. Numbers input sign of test um equal to. So when it is um equal to zero you can choose to add an action for this okay so let's add an action change scene 
change the scene. Um, I don't have any other scene, so I'll just put the same scene. So he actually restarts the scene. So this is not actually compulsory. Um, this last this empty event I just added is not actually compulsory. But if you want to actually restart your scene when the timer gets to zero, I would advise you to add this. So add an empty event, add a condition, modify. Now let's connect. Um, let's connect our text one. Here it is. Let's connect our text one to our numbers input. So object text one, modification sign set to text. Open a quotation. Numbers underscore input. Numbers input dot string open and close. Sorry, no quotation. Okay, now let's run that. So, here now, if I press um, three on my keyboard, sorry, three it starts with three, add more numbers, um, it keeps on going. 10, 9, 8, so if I add 5 again, it goes to 84, and that's how it's done.